everyone welcome to alchemy star so we have a new rotating recruitment banner and is this banner really worth your currency pulling for so this banner by the way is going to be active on april 26 uh up to may 3rd so we'll start off with tacky so tacky is a detonator so definitely fire uh, active skill launching searching flames toward the selected tile that erupt in a cross-shaped area and deals 400 damage dealing 80% to enemies on both sides on the selected tile and uh, at the same time converts the selected tile into a red enhanced tile applies burn marks to targets before dealing damage Okay, next is going to be chain combo. So maximum of a hundred forty-five percent damage to three rows and a chain combo of thirteen to trigger. Then his equipment is a burn mark at the start of each round. Applies a burn mark to the enemy with the highest percentage of HP, increasing increasing all damage tacky deals to the target by ten percent. So he is going to be there, there's a, there's a buff actually to his damage by applying a mark each time the enemy is afflicted with the burn mark is eliminated Taki's increase attackies attack increases to three percent up to maximum of 15 percent um my opinion on Taki is um if you don't really have anything to use definitely he is uh, if you're starting out if you're a beginner definitely he is going to be you know useful to you but not really once you've got you know the other detonators that we that we have and we usually use for fire particularly for sinsa and also particularly for charon so he won't be really used that much and also he's um, his skill cooldown is really really bad and um again um if you don't have him you can use him if you have other detonators definitely they're better than tacky himself okay moving on to od so od here let's uh, review her skill so active skill internal struggle deals 400 damage to all enemies and inflicts slow for two rounds and two stacks of poison for two rounds okay by the way if you're wondering why I'm reviewing the skill, most players, if there are they are beginners, they don't have um, stats available for these uh, Aurorians. And by the way, for reference to this wiki, I'm gonna be putting it in the description. I'm not promoting this wiki, by the way. It's just for reference, for my personal reference as well. So going back to the active skill, so a lot of damage. Um, she's a sorry, I forgot to mention she's a support and she is forest element. Okay, so damage is big at 400% um, and damage to all enemies and inflicts slow for two rounds and two stacks of poison for two rounds as well. So two debuffs, which is excellent. Moving on to her chain combo. She has a maximum of 13 and the damage is 140. Damage to three columns and inflicts one stack of poison for two rounds. So again, very, very good as well um, for damage over time team or team components. Then you have um, her equipment, which is going to be self-driving power. Normal attacks can attack enemies in a diagonal tile, which is very useful and have a 70% chance of inflicting one stack of poison for two rounds. So all three of her skills, including the equipment, um, inflicts poison for two rounds. So very, very useful. Um, opinion on OD, she is going to be needed really in Elysium once you've unlocked Elysium it's more on for your advanced content for the early stages um, based on my experience I I wasn't able to use her that much but definitely for Elysium you're gonna be need, gonna be needing her she's the best unit for or the Aurorian for Elysium and also for damage over time team so that is it for OD Dragon so Taki Mm, not really that good, but definitely for OD. Both are five star Aurorian. So again, you, you won't be able to choose anyway if you pull in the banner. And last but not the least is going to be Graham. So Graham is uh, let's uh let's focus more on Graham. He is a six star detonator fire as well so as you remember i mentioned that there are other better fire detonators so definitely gram 
is going to be one of your good units but not the best unit or detonator in fire okay but he has some utility in his kit so let's take a look at it okay so active skill uh, disintegrate preemptive strike um cooldown is one third which is excellent teleports to any tile within 12 surrounding tiles in a diamond shape dealing 180 damage to 20 surrounding tiles of the target location the the bad thing about him is um his teleport is very limited and uh deals 1.5 damage to the outer cluster okay so if the active skill was ready in the last round the teleport range in this round become becomes two surrounding clusters again teleport range is going to be limited so he is going to be good but definitely he's going to be more niche in some of the content Chain combo is subdue. Maximum is going to be 11. Deals 180% damage. 216 tiles in a radial shape. So excellent chain combo. And the last is his equipment, which is uh, can accumulate fury. Each stack of fury increases Gram's basic attack by 0.5%. There is no limit to how much fury he, he can gain from his active skill. This effect will be cleared at the end of each wave. For each, for every stack cleared, Grab will recover an amount equal to 5% of his max HP. So definitely, this is going to be useful for him for his survivability and sustainability. So good teleporter, but limited range. Good detonator, but again, he is not one of the best detonators that we have. Good, But he has good utility as well. And the lifesteal does help really in this kit. So, again, um, if um, would I suggest you guys pulling for this banner? Let me think first. Definitely, if you are starting out, like beginning, couple of weeks, couple of months, definitely I think you should pull. But if you're really advanced in, if you have more or better um, detonators in fire, definitely. I would say don't pull for this banner. Um, eventually, you'll be getting Gram um, in some of the banners. But um, if you're a beginner, I say you can. Because again, OD is going is going to be worthwhile. Taki, not that much. Gram, good for you when you're starting out. Okay, guys. So that is it. So tomorrow is the um, launch of this banner. And hopefully, I've given you some tips if you haven't decided yet so hopefully after this video you have decided whether you're going to pull for this banner or not okay guys thank you very much stay safe take care this is the word and i'm out of here